Sheila Sherfulis McCormick is the Democrat representing Florida's 20th Congressional District and one with slightly more experience than other freshman members of the 118th Congress. She told C-SPAN about her Haitian heritage and about how she arrived on Capitol Hill a year before the 118th Congress convened. Well, I won a special election and I was sworn in on January 18th. So I actually- What year? Served, oh, 2021, 2022. You know, the years are going by fast. Yeah. So I'm like a, a super freshman or, you know, a late sophomore, whatever you call it. Um, so I'm just excited to be here. After being here in that year, I really learned a lot about Congress, how it works, especially in an election year. And so I could feel the difference when you come off an election and you're going into a new Congress. So it's exciting to see the difference of, you know, the whirlwind, what occurs when you have a special election where training is like right there and then, whereas now we're having like real training and you're seeing the difference, but it's exciting. Do you go through freshman orientation? Yes, we're excited. We're invited to go through freshman orientation. So we can choose which ones we want to go to. And I just saw what we missed out on, right? So there was a lot of us who actually came in last year during specials. So as we were going together as a group, we're like, man, we actually missed out on all these good things in these training. So at least we get to go now. And how many elections have you been through? So I've had four elections within 10 months. What was that like? Grueling. It was grueling because we were in Congress, learning the legislation, building a team. We were in district, actually building. So we have two offices in district, a mobile office, and then we had the campaign that was still running. So we had to do it all at the same time. But I think it was one of the best experiences because really understanding what the needs of the people are and having a pulse on the community that you're serving, it really helped us to like hit the ground running because we were able to add to the conversation of what average Americans were feeling because we were always at their door, always in their face, providing services. So I feel like it was a blessing in disguise. Tell us about your political philosophy. Well, at the heart of it is us living up to the greatness of America, right? And that really comes down to equity, equity, equity. Sorry, can I say it again? Yeah. Okay, so at the end of the day, it really comes out down to us living up to our greatness, right? Which is equality and justice for all. So what we've been really focusing on is making sure that everybody has the opportunity to live their American dream, either through fair immigration processes or processes that have been included in the Infrastructure Act and all of the um, implementation that's going on, and making sure that you know we have just racial equity is at the forefront and that everyone gets to live equally. And even when it comes to women, that has been such a huge issue when we look at health care and rolling back the rights of women and inserting government into a woman's private health care decisions. So really pushing our country forward so we can live up to our great potential. Who Do you have a political mentor, that, someone you've looked up to in life? There's been so many that I, I can't even mention. Um, but what's great about being in Congress at this time, we've just had, I've had so much support with the Congressional Black Caucus and the Congressional Progressive Caucus, with so many great leaders there who have really been mentoring and pushing us forward. So that has been an excellent experience, especially at this time. What does it mean to be the only Haitian American elected to Congress? It means a huge responsibility, especially when we're dealing with immigration right now and Haiti's in a crisis. Um, as we move forward, we're looking for more equitable processes for African descendants, um, black migrants, and this is really testing our country on how we're doing that. So I commend the Biden administration with this, this new pathway, pathway to entry. Um, that's a great first step, but we have to start looking at these countries and seeing what the specific issues, especially when it comes to Haiti. Um, as of January 9th, there was no elected officials who were present. So the government now is so fragile because you have no one who's really been elected. Combining that with the humanitarian problems, such as access to health care and even being on the brink of a famine. And when you add that with the um, crime element, which is the gangs that are there, we're realizing that there's a real crisis brewing in Haiti, and that's what's actually pushing the migration issues that we're seeing. Our shores in Florida, we've seen more than five times as many migrants than we usually do. And we're also seeing that being um, replicated at the border. And it's not just Haiti, we're looking at Cuba who's actually coming. So the whole um, Hispaniola, looking at Latin America, and even South America, we're going through changes. And this is a great time for us to actually she um, test our country and make sure that we have an equitable process, but we're not sacrificing asylum and allowing people to have a pathway. What committees will you serve on? Foreign Affairs, uh, that should be my committee and I'm excited. I was a permanent member last year 
And I'm also looking forward for transportation infrastructure, which is also extremely important to us. Um, right now, I'm serving as the chair for di um, diversity and inclusion with the Democratic Women's Caucus. And we're going to be focusing heavily on how the monies are being distributed with all these initiatives. Like last year, we saw so many different initiatives that were dedicated towards creating jobs, more inclusion. And we just want to make sure that women are having their seat at the table, minorities are having their seat at the table, and anyone who isn't a traditional participant in navigating. We want to make sure that every American has that opportunity.